you're you're talking about the the curiosity and and open mindedness of the artist to see things not only the way that they are or what, the way that they appear to be, but also the way they could be, or or the way that they that they could potentially become. Right. So that sort of curious um, and creative side melded well with your your uh, desire to seek knowledge. Yes. Uh, um, so, so um, the artistic nature pushed me uh, um, to to be more curious and to to um, to search more and to to be open for more options. And um, uh, yes. So when when I discovered uh, that there is a pos other possibilities uh, mm -hmm. to understand this religion um, in in different way uh more in a symbolic way because uh, interpreting religion in a symbolic way um meets um i think i think it's more compatible with art symbolism mm -hmm. uh and art are very uh are closer to each other yes um, yeah closely related i cannot i cannot be an artist, at the same time, I believe in the jurisprudence, in the Islamic jur jurisprudence I was studying. Um, it, it, it was my specialty. My PhD was about Islamic jurisprudence. And jur Islamic fiqh or jurisprudence mm -hmm. says that an artist is a craftsman. It doesn't give him any other uh, privilege. Mm -hmm. He's just a craftsman who is limited by uh, certain rules. He shouldn't make this and this and this and this and this yeah. because haram is prohibited. And if he is a musician, he must uh, stop doing the music. He's making instruments of music or images or sculptures is prohibited. And what I'm saying now is is according to the vast majority of mm -hmm. Islamic schools of thought. It's, it's not just the opinion of one or two. It's the vast majority um, of Islamic schools of thought. So... Uh, how to deal with this being an artist I, I love to make music i love singing i love making uh, drawing painting and, and performing. yeah i'm islamic speech consider you a sinner so uh, so let's let's clarify um for people who aren't familiar with fit it's um like jurisprudence it's basically it's just a, a, a fancy way of saying law like um islamic right. laws and the the one thing like you you say majority opinion but where it gets kind of tricky is, and this is the same with every religion, is you you have a lot of question over what the actual law, laws are and are not. Or just because it's the popular consensus doesn't mean that it's necessarily the true interpretation. So what you're talking about is you're studying jurisprudence, which is the, the laws that say you should do this, or you shouldn't do that, right? And when you say that an artist is just a craftsman, you're saying their 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 purpose is to create something for people to use, whether it's you know, um, a mosaic or a plate or, or a bowl or something, but their, their, their purpose is not to invent necessarily or to express, right? There's, there's very set, um, guidelines that they have to stay within. And I'm just, I'm just kind of rehashing this just for better understanding of everyone listening. Like it, it's to, to understand any specific religion, including like those in the West who, who have been exposed to Christianity their entire lives in order to really understand it, it takes a lot of nuance and and study and so what you're saying is um is that the the laws that are the general consensus is that the ways that you can express yourself as an artist or as a creative person is very stifled or very limited is that is that correct exactly yeah, yeah. 